What's up you guys, Namakon here, bringing you my perspective of what entertainment is bringing us. And today we'll be talking about Brand New Animal, a Japanese animated series created by Studio Trigger. It was the most recent work until they announced a new series, which is coming in 2021. The series is licensed by Netflix and only has 12 episodes. The show is set in a world where humans and humanoid animals called Beastmen both coexist in planet Earth. The show stars Michiru Kagemori, a young teenage girl who became a humanoid beastman and went away to Anima City so that she, she could seek refuge there. She meets Shiru Ogami, who is a detective, and together they investigate as to how Michiru became a beastman. Y yeah, she was, she was just 100% pure human. I thought it was good. I thought the sh I thought the show was good. Not great by any means. Uh, the uh, the show has flaws, but the final product is entertaining enough. I really wish there was some stuff in the story that were more developed, but since the show only has twelve episodes, I guess you have to cram as much stuff as you can. But honestly, it felt rushed, and I feel like I wasn't satisfied with how it ended. That doesn't mean I wasn't I wasn't having a good time because I, I I was having a good time. The my favorite episodes was when was when Michiru was playing was playing baseball with a different hometown and it was really cool. It gave Anima City a lot more character the, than most of the episodes did with the main story. The animation is top. The animation looks gorgeous. Studio Trigger never disappoints when it comes to animation because. The back, the, the city looks gorgeous, and the action scenes is out of this world. It, it looks amazing. Like, they, like, they, a trigger always comes through when it comes to animation. I mean, like, you, have y'all seen Promare? It looks amazing. So, and the action is great. The, the choreography looks, is really damn good. The characters unfortunately don't leave that much an impression on me i mean besides michiru who is who's really adorable and and i argue she must be protected at all costs they lack substance but man oh man the way they decide they design those characters is outstanding the voice acting is pretty good uh ben diskin did a pretty good job as shidro well, not my favorite role he's done. That goes to uh, Joseph Josar, Mega Man, Knucklebine, Number One and Two. He does a pretty good job at making at making Shiro sound like an old, wise old man. Now Michiru Kagemori, this is one of my f this is one of my favorite performances Jeremy Lee has done. Easily top three, if I may be specific. She easily stole the show. Makes sense, given that she. Big, big sense to me that she's playing the main character of the show, but she still knocked it out of the park. This might, this, this might be pretty close to my favorite role she's done that, because she, she's giving Makoto Nijima a, a run for her, a run for his, for her money. But uh, honestly, Mi Michiru's, Michiru, she knocked it out of the park. Otherwise, otherwise, brand new animals. It's a good show. I it may ha it may have flaws, but it's it's still a good time. Brand new. I give brand new animal a B minus. The anime, while while the plot and the while the plot is extremely rushed, the animation is is fantastic. The action is great. The the characters are besides Michiru, they don't have much to offer, but. Still, it's really entertaining. You guys, if you guys see Brand New Animal, do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And and make sure you follow my Twitter, dis Instagram, and Discord down in the description down below. This is Nabakon, and I'll see you next time.